All right, we're here at the University of Miami on campus yet again for the Global Entertainment and Sports Industry Conference with the University of Miami Law School. Awesome opportunity for us to engage with some incredible people. We've been sitting down all morning already. It's the middle of the afternoon now. Um, it's been qu but quite a few uh, pretty crazy hours here, right, uh, Anthony? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you haven't already, check us out on NucleusHub.com. Follow us on all our social media. So when we do do these activations and we go live with new opportunities, whether you're a member or user of our app, you will get the notifications about these great opportunities to engage with Anthony and I, as well as so many amazing panelists, attendees, everyone in an industry that is booming. Let's talk about a little bit about that boom and what it means for Nucleus and all of the attendees. I mean, I've sat in a few panels today very interesting stuff, everything from sports betting to art in the communities and how that those industries have changed and the use of that art and the licensing and the IP. But social media plays such a big part in this, huge part in this. And being able to create, but also being able to publish it and sh freely share your information online comes at a cost, but also if done right, can accelerate the growth of many businesses and companies like ourselves. And I think that's really kind of what it is, is how do you play in this environment in a safe way? And how do you make sure that you make informed decisions of doing it and attending conferences like this is how you find out about that. Have you seen anything, heard anything, Anthony, since you've been here for the last few hours that sticks out for you, that something maybe, maybe you've taken away and learned already? So first of all, I just wanna say, I'm excited to be running it back here yeah. Back at UM for this <laughs> yeah. conference. I just want to bring some energy in here because this is exciting. I'm excited. I know you're excited. Our yep. team's excited. So just wanted to put that out there. Um, with what you're saying, you know, just sitting down already with a few people and just kind of hearing what, you know, people are, are going around talking about. I think one of the biggest things that stuck out to me was the fact that people are appreciating and wanting to collaborate more. Um, it's something that I've been hearing people saying, we got to collaborate, we got to collaborate, uh, we got to do stuff together, um, you know, trying to learn from each other. Hey, I want to learn more about what you talked about. Hey, I want to learn what you talked about. And I think that so many more people are realizing that in this space that continues to grow, if you're not surrounded by the right people that want to collaborate and they're willing to share information, the right information, um, and want to be able to help each other out, um, you're going to be able, you're not going to be able to win uh, and go far. So you have to be willing to collaborate. And I think that one of the biggest things from that is that you're going to see so much new ideas, new innovation, new trends, new tactics, new strategies um, coming from this because so many more people are willing to come together and put those ideas um, in one place. Well, it's all about it, right? Collaboration, creativity, empowering. Um, it is our message. It's something yeah. that we talk a lot about. I mean, yeah, I know you just, we've yanked a few times here just to sit down and be a chance to talk with us. Um, and you know, we're, we're here, uh, helping the university of Miami school of law put on this conference to do stuff. So it's kind of cool for us to get in the mix and things. Um, but people get excited about doing it. Um, I think that people have done things here in our activation for the very first time that they've maybe not done them before. Yeah. A little outside their comfort zone, and I think that generally is what it's all about: is getting outside your comfort zone, doing something a little bit different. Collaboration is a true way to do that, and do it in a in a safe way because through collaboration, you kind of get an opportunity to sit back, watch the other person, individuals, and react or respond uh, to maybe what they said or how the, what what they've done, uh, and it gives you a an opportunity to learn a little bit about yourself 100%. too. Uh, I can, I mean, how many of our members are ready that? first joined with the expectation that they would be inviting guests in, but by being in our space, have met so many other members that are there, and they instantly said, hey, why aren't we shooting together? Yeah. Why aren't yeah. we collaborating? Why aren't we creating content together and try to empower our audience to do something, whether it's yeah. to a point of sale or, or to buy something or to buy our services or to learn something new? It doesn't always have to be about money, but necessarily about activation, right? Yeah. Activation of your brand, activation of your message, whatever yeah. it may be. So I think you're starting to see that obviously within our hubs and see, and, and there's a lot more coming. Exchange. It's a value yeah. exchange. It's, Absolutely. It's really what it is. It's, the, it's, your, it's your value exchange of you providing value, them providing value back. 
and swapping that, you know, and I think that more and more people are doing that. And look, something you brought up about our members, you know, like you know, talking about members and meeting new members and new members collaborating with our members in our space, but also as well, like here, I, I, I saw literally members and people who came here for the first time experiencing like, oh my God, this is cool. Wow, this is fun. And then we had a, uh, one of our members who's come to a few events yep. and activations in our space. And now they're sitting down with this new in person and they're also letting them know their experience from the first time they saw this. And it's cool how they instantly connect and click. And then they're like sitting down creating content together. And it's just so nice to see that. It's well, really yeah, you, nice. had a, you had a brand rep uh, come up to us just today at this conference and say, hey, wow. So wait, membership and I, my talent can come and collaborate and use your services yep. to help and then they can collaborate with other members? Yeah, great. Oh, wow, so you're creating like an ecosystem. Yes, exactly. So the words are out there and people I think are piecing it together and realizing the power of Nucleus and what we're doing here. Um, and as we expand and grow our services and locations and, and everything else um, that's come with it, so many things we don't even want to talk about right now, um, <clears throat> but to be continued. Um, I think it just people are just waking up to realization that the power of collaboration is truly where it's at. And um, I think there is an awesome opportunity here by attending and doing these activations and by coming to our locations. Um, it's going to broaden your mind and, and expand your uh, creativity in a way that's going to lead yeah. to better business practices, better opportunity, et cetera, et cetera. And I, and I also want to say like, Another thing that I've seen is that I've gotten some people here that I've, I've approached on uh, what we're doing, sat down, created, and it's actually, they've come to me and said, they're so motivated that some of them weren't even on social media or they weren't using social yeah. media for business or to get themselves out there, build a personal brand, and they're like, I want to do that now because they yeah. sat on this seat. We and gave them that opportunity. And now they're motivated yep. and they had the opportunity. And you know what was one of the things? They felt that it wasn't intimidating. They felt that it was welcoming, they felt nice, they didn't feel overwhelmed, it wasn't like overbearing, and that it, it just felt right. And to hear that, it's really, it's really amazing because it just lets us know, like, not only for the people who are creators already, but for the people who may be wanting to be creators or they're not creators and we spark that interest in them, that's to me, that's amazing because we're also now bringing new creators yep. to the industry by doing that. But a lot of people, just like with these conferences, right, people ask, like, well, what's your target audience? And it was just asked of us a few minutes ago. And the assumption is influencers. But the reality of it is that the creator economy is made up of so many more people yeah. than influencers. In fact, the idea of being an influencer or being labeled as one is kind of becoming... Um, cliche or passe or yeah. whatever you want to say. And isn't it funny um, when you hear their, when you see their face when you tell them, actually, no, it's it's not. It's, it's not yeah. not a hundred percent. It's not really yeah. like influencers come. Yes. But that's not yes. that's not just our target audience. Right. And it's like, oh, really? Well, I like, mean, explain uh, more. Of the fifty million, <laughs> of the fifty million creators, right? Three point three million of them say they are professionals. Yeah. And how many of those are really professionals, right? Can we argue? Yeah, I would argue. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now that we, you know, we're, we're deep in this industry, um, but I would, you know, the, the 47, let's call it roughly 47 million others are probably creating to promote a business, but not monetizing their actual influence necessarily to sell a product through social media or something like that, but simply building brand awareness totally. for a business or a service that they, or, or a product that they sell on their website or on Amazon or some of these other various other um, uh, storefronts, so digital storefronts or physical. Um, so, you know, and, and so it's, it's hard to, uh, you know, it's hard for some people to understand why if you're not an influence, you wouldn't want to do this. Um, but once we start to obviously explain, you know, where our objectives and our focus here, um, it becomes a little bit more clear, but that's also what this, these conventions are about, is like exactly. to talk about, um, the, the conference rather, um, to talk about the, you know, the, the many different silos of opportunity and interest in, in, in a very short amount of time, just get just basically the fire hose of information. And again, I've sat in a couple of these uh, presentation panels and, and, you know, whether I was in there for the entirety of it or just 15 minutes, there was always something I could walk out of those conversations and learn. Um, and why it's always so important to always be learning, always be out there doing this stuff. And I really think that's being a member of Nucleus yeah. gives you the opportunity to learn. Get, you know, immerses you in a, a in, in a location or in a let's call it the uh, 
the web, if you will, the, the uh, online. You get immersed. That's, it's our nucleus. Yes, and, it, and our nucleus. And it spreads out. And you're immersed <laughs> in, in not only, you're, you're, the immersion is not only in ideas, but it's in people, it's in opportunities. There's so much there um, that you'll, you'll take from it. So, um, you know, don't be afraid. Step out of your comfort zone. Give it a shot. Give it a For chance. Sure. If you, if you are a, a sole proprietor or an entrepreneur of anything else, and you aren't creating content, of something, like, no, you don't necessarily need to be sitting on doing a podcast. You don't necessarily need to be doing short form video, taking drone shots, doing this stuff. You got to figure out what works for you and what, what attracts, what interests your audience, really. Totally. Um, and it's not just fo- number of followers, right? Um, in fact, we just saw um, the uh, president of, of Instagram came out and said, he goes, don't judge don't judge a creator by the number of followers. Look at the engagement. Look at the likes. Look at the comments. That's really where you're going to see yeah. value. The things have shifted. Yep. And on and on threads, that statement was just made by the single, you know, by by the individual yeah. operating one of the strongest, so one of the strongest social media platforms that a lot most people, I would say, particularly in the United States and Europe, would think of when when you talk about influencers or creators, the creator economy. Your mind probably shifts over to Instagram, or you know, maybe more totally. so than Facebook these days, um, depending on your demographic, <laughs> right? Um, but that's definitely an important yeah, issue. Totally, and I, I just want to bring it up because I'm excited for it. But I think it's really cool that LinkedIn. Are you, uh, you going to like talk about something we shouldn't be talking about? No, no, no. This oh, is okay. this is. Right. I'm just excited to share that I heard and I saw the report that LinkedIn is going to be rolling out and testing a TikTok slash IG Reel component to their platform, and I really feel that that's going to be massive yep. just because but of did how you see what un- underrated LinkedIn is. But did you see what Instagram is doing? Oh, yeah. Now they're going to, if they're emphasizing photographs, yes. they're going back to their roots. Yes. So you have LinkedIn on one hand, swallowing up the whole, you know, that, that, that idea of like the short form, let's call it, yeah. um, the reels or the shorts or whatever you want, you know, so many different names for these things. Um, and then you have Instagram, who really promoted this idea. Well, that's how it started. That's how right. Instagram started with photos. Right. So now they're going back to the roots and actually paying, paying creators to post photos. Which is nuts. More so than I, I don't know. Reels. I don't know, Dan. I think that sounds like an opportunity for you to bring out your photography skills <laughs> back in the. Back into play, man. <laughs> well, look, we just did a show. Maybe we'll do another one in New York we, we, uh, or, or here in Miami. Who knows? Um, For those who don't but, know, uh, Dan is a professional licensed photographer. Yes. Very skilled. I try to be. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little bit more coy about it. You know, it's just one of those things. You know, I just enjoy it. It's a passion thing. Um, it was nothing I ever did to jump into to make any sort of money from, but I would have the opportunity to do it. And I jumped out. I ran with it um, primarily in uh, fashion photography. Uh, you know, did a couple fashion weeks and had opportunity to sell some of my photography and art, uh, which was amazing. It's just one of those things where you just kind of walk away humbling, really, um, experience. And you had your first little art exhibition. Yeah, you can't yeah, forget about yeah, we that. Did it at Nucleus. Uh, my wife, bless her heart, has been pushing me to do some sort of gallery or something like that. And uh, you know, I think you started pushing me a bit as well. So we just jumped in on the Coconut Grove Art Festival and said, hey, why not? We're in the middle center of Coconut Grove. Let's participate in it. So it's really kind of cool. And also to put all of it together in one location and sit there and stare at it, like, was just one of those, you know, moments where you just kind of sit back and say, just, I lo- like, I just, I just enjoy it so much. Um, and to see it on display is even, it's just, is rewarding. Um, and hope to get an opportunity to do more of it, man. I keep keep dabbling in it the more we do this <laughs> like just yesterday we were checking out the watsco center we were um with the entire panel for um the global uh entertainment and sports industry uh has a as an actual a board that puts on this conference yeah. and i got a little creative with it some backlighting some fun little he, things he definitely some took over i uh, yeah took yeah over. there's a <laughs> <laughs> Not talking about that. <laughs> um, say the least. The, I was having a lot more fun than others, um, getting create, getting my creative juices flowing. But man, it's just like this. This type of stuff gives you that opportunity to do. And if you're not having fun doing what yeah. you're doing, um, then you got to find someone else. Because I fucking love what I'm doing. Um, I love doing this nuclear stuff, and I, I love being creative and helping other creative people or helping people that maybe have. You know, just like there's a writer's block, there's definitely like a creator's block. For sure. And everyone might have experienced it. And I think that's a great place where like AI really kind of like kick, can kick up the juices for you or reignite that flame. 
you know, throw some stuff in there and just give you some feedback and ideas totally. real back. Um, and attending yeah. places like, like, like a conference or a workshop or joining a, Nucleus, or networking, joining Nucleus, being in the community, like or joining Nucleus, but joining Nucleus, right? <laughs> you got to join. Um, but it's one of those things where it allows you for, you know, to, it allows you to be able to break through that, that creator's block. Um, when you do have tools like that, like AI or the right people that you can meet and talk about ideas and they might spark something you they didn't even know about or they you're like man you know what that's a good idea and that's and I want to talk about that a little bit because I think one of the biggest emphasis for us that we realized was you know back in the day everything was very physical then everything then there was a whole shift of everything digital and I feel like we're we're bridging the physical and the digital we're we're, we're doing we're bringing it together and I think that's one of the things that that's the sweet spot sweet spot that people want people want to be able to grow, monetize, scale, um, ex expand their reach um, digitally, but they still want to be able to have the physical component. And that's something I have always said is connect, move over, build. Like connect with people on social, put your things out there, monetize, grow, but then also move, over, move people over to real life in the physical because that's where the real relationships and interactions can actually grow and turn into something big that then leverages and puts back more into your into your digital components and I and I really feel that's something that we're doing here that's at a, Nucleus. That's why I love a lot of these uh, at mostly ad companies talking about AI how it's going to take over ads and you're not going to need human people and everything else. I mean, the, I, I think people forget how many how much people connect with brands and in, in influencers, if you will, uh, brand ambassadors, because of an experience they've had. And, I, and, and while I do think that a lot of the ad industry is gonna shift to the use of AI and stuff like that because it's the cost, simply the cost of it, there's still gonna be some sort of physical component where people are gonna want to engage, they want to participate, they want to be a part of a community, they want to feel, they want to touch stuff, they want to, they want, they want to be a part of something they belong to something. It's just human nature. I mean, you know, we're on a college campus it, and there's a reason why um, fraternities and sororities and clubs exist, right? Because people want to be a part of a community and they like niche, they, they gravitate towards niche communities. Um, and it's important that, you know, within the creator economy, you find your niche and, and you network within it and you connect with people. But step out be from behind the camera and shake someone's hand and get in the share of space with them. It's amazing the amount of uh, more ideas you get from doing something like that. But we got to get back to this conference, man. There's so many things to talk about. We could be sitting here for hours, <laughs> man, and talking and talking and talking. But um, awesome to sit with you. Yeah. As always. My co-founder, Anthony Mendez, Mr. Mendez, Mendez Fitness, Instagram. Make sure you follow him. Well, check us out online, NucleusHub.com. If you haven't already, register for our app because, again, when we do these things, you're going to want to know about it because this is your opportunity to create and engage and empower so many other individuals. So we'll see you next time at our next activation and hopefully come by our hub, Coconut Grove, and more to come. Innovate, empower, create. Let's do it. Boom. <laughs>